What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's Michael Plath here again. You know, the past year has been like the year of the most change for me. I've been learning who I am, who I want to be. I moved out, renting a house, bought a new car, and I've never stopped working on my body, so I've got something. On social media, I have attracted a decent amount of followers. I love being able to post pictures or videos. See what feedback you get. If you follow me on social media, I'll take you around and show you what I'm up to. Give me a follow up. Michael Platt. Hey guys, it's Mariah Platt, and my brother and I just started renting a house. Did you say Platt? <laughs> I did not. Keep going, because I did not. Very recently, me and my parents basically came to a mutual agreement um, for me to move out. And I found this place, and me and Mariah moved in here, and it's been pretty awesome. So, unlike me, he only has three pairs of shoes. This was my desk growing Let's up. Let's see if he don't has... Don't open this door. You don't need to see what I'm I need to see if you have money. <laughs> Nothing. And then clothes, closet, bed, and that's all. I got a little camcorder from one of my... That's how you say it, right? Yeah, I think so. From one of my jobs. And we're just kind of playing around with it. All right, let's show you the bathroom next. I picked out the shower curtain. She got it's the shower purple. curtain? In the last six months, so much has changed. I moved out of the house, um, slash got kicked out. <laughs> I didn't clean up my room, but it's like, that's okay, because this is just how I am. My parents were shielding me from, or protecting me or whatever from the outside world. They tried to control like literally everything, what we ate, what we wore, jeans, or any type of tank top was like out of the question to wear. Swimsuits were an absolute no. I'm sure my parents meant well by raising us the way that they did, but I just felt like an outsider in the real world. It didn't feel normal. Next is the dining room. It's just a small table and some chairs. My nail, all my nail stuff, because I like doing my nails. Mike, I got this letter from Lydia today. Today? Mm-hmm. That's really sweet. It was sweet of her. It's been probably three or four months since I've seen my siblings. I'm really not allowed to see my younger siblings unless my parents are there. I still try to keep a positive attitude about it, but it is hard at times. Whose turn is it to go grocery shopping? Yours. I'm going to have Pop-Tarts for breakfast. I hate rules. <laughs> I want to just show you a couple things in the house that need to get done. So in, in this room, I think the only thing really is our wedding vows. I want to recolor the mat. We raised our family on a 55-acre farm in rural South Georgia. We call it our piece of heaven honor. <laughs> but a couple of months ago, we went through a massive change. We moved off the farm and moved to a beautiful house in Cairo. Pretty much things are still the same as they were at the farm in terms of our family's rules. That means no phones for the children, supervised movies, supervised internet, no social media, little to no sugar, appropriate clothing, no video games, and no rock music in the house. Unfortunately, not everyone agreed with our rules, so the family is sort of fractured now into three different households. Last year, Mike and Raya just kept pushing the limits. You get to buy what we want. Yeah. All right, now, so does, but you never you not tell mom. Mom and me, so I know we're not so And it was likely to me that they might plant seeds of rebellion and bitterness in the younger children, especially Isaac and Amber. We talked it over with Mike and Mariah and agreed that if they couldn't live with our rules, then they needed to move out. If we're lucky, mom and dad won't even be home. Mariah and I are headed over to mom and dad's place to pick up some mail. I haven't been to my parents' place in months, and Mariah and I try to go together for, like, moral support. Like, stick together. Don't, don't, um, leave me. Yeah, 
I wouldn't want to leave you. I wouldn't want to be left alone with my parents. Okay. So it's just like when you get when you get cornered, and they have they have a way of like basically basically like no matter what you say, they make you feel like you're at fault. Yeah. For any scenario. When I moved out of the house, like I was angry and frustrated, and I didn't want any communication with them except for the stuff that was extremely necessary. This is nerve-wracking. This doesn't feel like home. It feels like a, a trap, a cage that I worked so hard to get out of, and I don't like going back. Hey, look to the bright side. Stay strong, and we get to see the sub Yep, true. I'm excited to see them. Oh, someone's here. Is that Mariah? Oh, wow. Okay. I'll be out in a minute. Hey, guys. It's been so long. We got a lot of kitchen to do. I know. Yeah. There's not much time to do. True. Welcome. Mike and Mariah showed up a little bit unexpected. Yeah. Our relationship with Mike and Mariah is very fragile. Hey, Amber. Usually, if they do stop by at all, it's more to see the other siblings. It's not to see us. Hey. You know if I have any mail? Yes, you have a lot of mail. You have a very important piece of mail. I just want to run up and throw my arms around them and give them a big hug, but I kind of am sensing that maybe they're not ready for that. You're almost as tall as me. I, did, really. I am. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen most of my siblings. Like, Isaac and Lydia, it's been four months. What have we missed? Who are you? When I saw Isaac, that really shocked me. He was like at least four inches taller than when I last saw him, which is a lot. And his voice had dropped. I want to go see your room, Isaac. It's nice to have Mike over to spend time with him because um, I don't get to hang out with too many other guys around my age, so. I can touch the ceiling with my feet. <laughs> Oops. Whatever.